Hello and welcome to Pre-Algebra Lesson 7. And in this video, we're going to learn about vertical addition. So the lesson objectives for today would be to learn how to properly set up and perform vertical addition, and also to learn the process of carrying. Okay, so when are we going to use vertical addition? Well, vertical addition is a process we use when we're adding multi-digit numbers together. And a multi-digit number is any number that is larger than one digit. So to perform the vertical addition, the first step is to arrange the numbers to be added vertically, okay, vertically, and by place value. So when I say vertically, I mean we're going to stack the numbers on top of each other. Let me just show you real quick with an example. Let's say we're adding 13 to 24. So 13 plus 24 is the problem. In this first step, we're just going to put the numbers on top of each other. Doesn't matter which numbers on top or which numbers on bottom. So 13 and 24, we're going to write like this. And there's more to it, but we'll get to those in the next steps. Now, notice how when I stack these numbers on top of each other, the digits in the ones place for each number line up, and the digits in the tens place for each number line up. This is your ones. And this is your tens. Let me just make this a little cleaner. This is the ones. Okay, so that is the first step. Stack the numbers on top of each other and buy place value. So don't do something like this where you have 13 and 24 over there. That won't work. Again, vertically and then buy place value. All right, so let's take a look at the second step. So let me just rewrite this. We have 13 and we have 24 written like this at this point. And for step two, we want to draw a horizontal line underneath the bottom number. So let's do that. And place a plus symbol. Okay, this is the plus symbol to the left of the bottom number. So to the left of this bottom number, I'm just going to put a plus symbol. And now we have our addition problem set up. And in step three, we're going to learn how to actually perform the addition. Okay, so for step three, let me just rewrite this. We have 13 plus 24. We want to add the numbers in each column starting with the ones column and moving left. So that means we're going to start in this column. You always work right to left when you're doing vertical addition. Now we want to place the result directly below the horizontal line. So I'm going to start with the numbers in this column here. We're starting in the ones column. So what is 3 plus 4? 3 plus 4 is 7. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put that directly below this horizontal line and I got to stay in line. Basically this 7 is going to be in the ones place for the answer. And then I just move left. So next I'm going to do the addition in the tens column. So I'm doing the addition here. So now I'm doing 1 plus 2 and that gives me 3. So when we add 13 and 24 together, we get 37. Okay, so let's take a look at some examples here. We're going to start with some very easy problems, and then we'll progress to some that are a little bit more challenging. So we have 27 plus 12. Again, we're going to begin by stacking the numbers on top of each other. So 27 can go on top, 12 can go on the bottom. And again, you can reverse that order. You can put 12 on the top and 27 on the bottom. It really doesn't matter. Now we're going to draw a horizontal line beneath the bottom number, and we're going to put a plus symbol off to the left of that bottom number. Now, we start by adding the numbers in the ones column. So we have 7 plus 2, and that gives us 9. Put your answer down in the ones column. Just keep following straight down. Then we move to the left. So now we're going to look at adding the numbers in the tens column. So 2 plus 1 is 3. So 27 plus 12 is 39. Let's kind of break this addition problem down a little bit further. If we think about 27 plus 12, Again, we did it like this, 27 plus 12. We added in the ones column, seven plus two is nine. We add in the tens column, two plus one is three. We got an answer of 39. But if we think about 27, it's what? It's two tens or 20 plus seven ones or seven. If we think about 12, it's one ten or just 10, plus two ones, or two. So we think about adding these numbers together, just looking at them like this, 
it makes sense to have, okay, we want seven ones plus two ones to know the amount of ones that we're going to have in our answer. So that's why those are lined up. So seven plus two is nine. You get nine ones. And it makes sense to think about the tens together as well. We have two tens plus one ten, or we have basically 20 plus 10 or 30. So we have three tens. And when we think about this, this is basically 30 plus nine or 39. So very important to translate this longer process into this shorter process here. This is just a shorthand for this over there. Now, what if you didn't stack the numbers up by place value? You'd run into a mess. You'd never get the right answer. If we think about 27 plus 12, let's say I did it like this. Let's say I put 27 here and I don't know, let's say I put 12 over here. Would I get the right answer? Well, no, because now I think I only have seven ones. So this would just come straight down. And now I think I have two tens plus another two tens or four tens or 40. And this would come down. So I get an answer of 147, which is completely incorrect, right? Completely incorrect. So that's why it's important to line up your numbers by place value. It's going to tell you how much of each you're going to have, how many ones, how many tens, how many hundreds that you're going to have in your answer. Okay, let's look at the next one. We have 405 plus 314. So again, we're going to line these up vertically and by place value. So everything is lined up. We got the ones, the tens, and now the hundreds. So we work right to left. So we're going to start by adding the numbers in the ones column. What is five plus four? That is nine. So you're going to write your nine in the ones column for the answer. Five ones plus four ones is going to give me nine ones. Then we're just working our way to the left. So now we're going into the tens column. Zero plus one is going to give me one. And we worked our way to the left again. Now we're in the hundreds column. Four plus three is going to give me seven. And so my answer is 719. And again, just thinking about this, we had five ones plus four ones that gave us nine ones. We had zero tens plus one ten, which gave us one ten. Then we had four hundreds plus three hundreds, which gave us seven hundreds. So essentially we have seven hundred plus ten plus nine or the number 719 as our result. Okay, now we have 2057 plus 14,112. So again, we're gonna stack these numbers on top of each other and by place value. But one thing you're gonna notice here is that one of the numbers has fewer digits than the other. Typically when this happens, you put the number with more digits on top. So typically you're gonna see 14,112 on top and 2057 on the bottom. But I'm gonna do this addition problem twice and show you that it doesn't actually matter. This is just a little bit easier. So we're gonna start in the ones column. Two plus seven is nine. Then we're going to the tens column. One plus five is six. Then we're going to the hundreds column. One plus zero is one. And then I'm gonna put a comma there. And now I'm going into the thousands column. So four plus two is six. And then I'm going to the ten thousands column. And you'll notice how there's nothing here to add with one. Typically, we'll teach this as, okay, just bring the number down and you'll put a one there. So your answer is 16,169. Let's say I change what's on top. Let's put 2,057 on top and let's put 14,000 112 on the bottom. Let's kind of move that over a little bit. And it's the same thing. We start in the ones column, seven plus two is nine. Then we move to the left. Five plus one is six. Zero plus one is one. Two plus four is six. And then bring down the one. We get 16,169 either way. Just typically you're gonna see this setup because the number with more digits is generally gonna be on top. Okay, now we wanna look at a problem that's gonna involve something known as carrying. So I'm going to work through this problem and then I'm going to go back and explain how it works. So 27 plus 35 is what we're going to work on. So 27 plus 35. So what happens is when we try to add the numbers in the ones column, seven plus five, you get 12. 
I can't fit a 12 in this space right here. I can only fit numbers 0 through 9. I can only fit a digit in this space. So 12 is too big. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to break 12 apart. I'm going to think about the left number, and I'm going to think about the right number. So the right number is going to stay. It's going to stay right here in the answer column, just like you normally would do. And then the left number is going to get carried into the next column. Okay, so we're going to carry the 1 into the next column. And now I'm just going to include it with the addition of that column. So 1 plus 2 plus 3, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6. So we end up with 62. But let's think about what we actually did here. Let me just erase this real quick and think about what we actually did. When we look at 27 and we break it down, we have two tens plus seven ones. Okay, so this is 20 plus seven. And when we think about 35, we have what? We have three tens, or we have 30, plus we have five ones, or just five. So when we add the numbers in the ones column, we have seven, seven ones and we have five ones. Seven plus five is 12, so we would have 12 ones. Basically all we're doing is rewriting 12 ones, 12 ones as one ten plus two ones, okay? One ten plus two ones. So when I think about the result here, if I give you a $10 bill and two ones, that's the same as if I handed you 12 ones. It's the same. So all I'm doing here is I'm just going to scratch this out. And instead of putting 12 ones, I'm going to put two ones. And then I'm going to go into the next column, into the tens column, and say, hey, I have another 10. I have another 10. So now the result of the addition, we have 10, 20, and 30 that we're adding. 10 plus 20 is 30. 30 plus 30 is 60. So we end up with 6 tens or 60 plus two ones, which is 62. That's what we got. So this is essentially what we're doing when we're using the carrying process. It's just a shorthand way to kind of go through and do all this and evaluate place values. Let's take a look at another one. Okay, next we have 242 plus 977. So 242 plus 977. So again, we're going to start by adding the digits in the ones column. So 2 plus 7 is 9. And then we work our way to the left. So next we're looking at the tens column. So we have 4 plus 7, but that's 11. And I can't fit, I cannot fit an 11 right there. You cannot fit anything larger than a 9 in this space. So what we need to do is evaluate the place values and figure out what we need to do. So we use carrying to do that. So if I have 11, I take the rightmost digit of 11, and that's a 1, and I put that in the answer column. So that goes there. Then I carry the leftmost digit, which is also a 1, into the next column. So that's going to go right here. And I'm just going to add that when I add this column together. So 1 plus 2 is 3, and then 3 plus 9 is 12. Now, when you don't have any more numbers to the left here, I can just simply write a multi-digit number into the answer. And the reason for that is because I'm still maintaining place value. I'm still having a two in the hundreds column, and this one is just pushed out into the thousands column. Because essentially, if there were more numbers over here, the one would have got carried over. But there are none, so it just comes straight down. So we end up with our answer of 1,219. And to think about this carrying action just a little bit more, when we look at the result of this column here, which was four tens, four tens plus seven tens, really we got 11 tens, right? We got 11 tens, which essentially all we did was we broke it down into 100 plus one ten. If I gave you 11 $10 bills, you would have $110. If I gave you a $100 bill and a $10 bill, you'd still have $110. So it's the same either way. So this is exactly what we did. We put 110 right here, and then we carried 100 into the next column to be added with the hundreds. Okay, for the next one, we have 6,099 
plus 15,763. And as I told you earlier, typically you're gonna take the number with more digits and put that on top. So we'll take 15,763 and put that on top. We'll take 6,099 and we'll put that on the bottom. And let me just make this a little cleaner. So again, we're gonna start with the digits in the ones column, three plus nine is 12. 12 is too big to fit in the answer column. So I keep the rightmost digit, which is a two, right? We think about 12, the rightmost digit is a two. And then I carry the leftmost digit, which is a one, into the next column. Now I add one plus six is seven, seven plus nine is 16. So again, I have to carry. So I'm gonna put a six down, right? Think about 16, the rightmost digit is a six. And again, I'm gonna be carrying a one. And now I'm gonna add one plus seven is eight, eight plus zero is still eight. And just keep moving on to the left. Now we have five plus six, that's 11. So you think about 11, you have a one that's gonna go into the answer column, the rightmost digit. And then you have a one that's gonna get carried over into the next column. So now we add this column, one plus one is two. And we just bring that down. So we get 21,862 as our answer.